God loves you. You know that? Yeah, you made some errors. I made some errors. You made some mistakes. I made some mistakes. But one thing does not change. The world changes. We change. But one thing does not change. That's God's love for you. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. It simply says, But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God's love is for you. The gospel of Jesus Christ is for you. We've all sinned. We've all made mistakes, but God loves us. In spite of our errors, in spite of our mistakes, in spite of all the times we fell short, God still loves us. It's not a pride thing. It's not that we're better than anyone, but it's just his love. We're undeserving. We don't deserve the love that he gives us. He's just been so good to us, even when we can't see it. Even though we fall short, even though we do what we want to do, when we go astray, he still has love for us. So my friend, you may have made some errors. You may have sinned. You may be in a different religion. You may have, you may have never given, given your life to Jesus. You may have backslidden. You may be lukewarm. Whatever the case may be, God loves you. And no matter how far you think you are, you are not too far gone for him. Jesus Christ came to this earth, lived a perfect and sinless life that we could. We could try to be as good as all. We could try to be as good as we can. We could be good in our own eyes, but we fail in comparison to Jesus Christ. We try to be good. We try to be the best we can, but we still fall. We still make mistakes. But Jesus, he came and lived the true perfect life. He made no mistake. No errors. And he went to a cross to pay the penalty for our sin. The wages of sin is death. That's Bible. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He came with the sole purpose to die on the cross so that we may have life eternal. Isn't that good news that Jesus Christ bled and died on the cross? It's brutal. It's harsh. It's not supposed to make you feel comfortable, but Jesus went through all that for you because he loves you. He has a plan for you. He has a purpose for your life. You don't have to die in your sins. You may have messed up. You may have made some errors, but come home. God is with with open arms. Return back home to him because he loves you. And how do we do that? We just got to believe. Believe that he is the son of God, that he is God manifesting in the flesh. That he came, he lived his perfect and sinless life, and that he died, and that he was buried, and that he resurrected again. If we could believe that, if we can confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, we can be saved. No matter who you are, no matter your race, your sex, your nationality, no matter where you are and who you are, God's salvation, his love is for you. No matter how many mistakes you made, his love did not change. He loves you. He loves you, my friend. So, I don't know if you know him today. But if you don't, today is the perfect day to get to know him. He cares about you. He loves you. Will you surrender your life to him today?